Good morning. It's Sue, the director of the Montessori Friends School. It's Sunday morning and I'm on my porch reading the local newspaper, which is delivered weekly now. I just finished doing the puzzle of the newspaper. As you can see or hear, it's very quiet in Monteverde. In fact, there's no cars, there's no people, there's nothing happening. There's no zip lining, no cheese factory, no tours, no reserves, no hiking, no tourists, no buses. There's nothing happening. There's no souvenir shops or restaurants. All the hotels are closed. Even the lookouts are closed, if you can believe it. These measures have um, largely been successful. And we know that um, we're very fortunate that we have no COVID-19 cases that are known here in Monteverde. And our country has done an amazing job at containing the pandemic. But what we also know is that it means that there is no info here at all. A survey recently showed that in Monteverde, over 80% of the people, the workers here are either unemployed or have had their employment cut by at least 50%. Monteverde feels very different than it's ever felt before. Welcome to what's become the director's new office. Her porch and my picnic table. Um, our in-person school ended here on March 10th and we haven't been back since. The good news is that we have an amazing staff who's been able to transition to an online program. And we are so grateful that we have been able to provide laptops for our high school students. And they were already working on the Google platform. And so high school has transitioned very easily to online school. And the primary grades are receiving enrichment by internet as well as um, packets. And this has included phys ed classes, art classes, um, as well as their academic subjects. But we've had to cut our staff to 50%. It's the only way that we figured we could survive for the rest of the year. Because with the lack of income, we're not receiving any tuition. No one has any income here. So if nothing else, people from Monteverde are resourceful. Our roots were um, in the adventurous spirit of the Quakers and that has not changed. So lots of people are paying attention to their basic needs. What that means is that um, we're planting seeds and cultivating new gardens, knowing that food security is the most important thing for us right now. But what we also know is that we have a lot of kids in the zone who want and need education. And what we don't want is for them to be stuck at home um, without the advantage of, of an education. We don't know yet what that means. Um, we don't know if we'll go back to school this year. We don't know if we'll return in August. We don't know what school will look like next year. What we do know, and this is the bad news, is that there will be a lot of kids who will not be able to afford school for sure. What we know is that there will be families with no income for a long time. What we know is that rainy season is upon us. It has started raining in the late afternoon and we know that the high tourist season is coming to an end and that normally our families know they have to have a fabulous summer in order to survive the rains. And this year that fabulous summer has not existed. What we also know is that there's good news, that we've already had more than 50 donors contribute to the school. What we also know is that we have started a fabulous new GoFundMe campaign, which not only will help the school, but will help the environment and the Institute. We're doing amazing collaborative work with the Monteverde Institute and with the Creativa or the Cloud4 school, the other private school in town. And we know that we will emerge from this crisis. The GoFundMe campaign is designed to um, give parents of students jobs planting trees. It will help the Institute plant more than 30,000 trees that they expected their volunteers and students to plant. And those folks are not coming. So our parents will do that in exchange for their work. They will earn money towards their students tuition dollars. 
we're not sure what next year looks like, but what we are sure is that we are going to need your help. Monteverde Friends School represents uh, the best of Monteverde and of Quaker education in the world. And we know that the school will persist. We just don't know what form that looks like. And part of that depends on the resources that we can we can, the money that we can raise and the resources that we can use um, next year in a way that's a, it's a lot different than what we have done in the past. So I would love to ask for your support in whatever form that can take, um, whether it's thinking about a trip here sometime next year when there are fewer restrictions and we can safely move about the planet, you may wanna come and volunteer. And if you have the capacity to donate money, that's what we need most, to be honest. We know that some people in the United States are receiving checks from the government. Um, many of those checks are over a thousand dollars. And as you probably also know, that money goes so far here in Costa Rica. One donation of a stimulus check will pay for a half a year of kindergarten for a student or a quarter of a year for high school. One single donation of a $1,200 check will pay for all the Chromebooks that our incoming um, high school students will need to get started in August. So if you um, are receiving a check and you need it, thank goodness that that's an option for you. If you don't need it, then we would love to have you make a donation and we'll be sure to keep you posted about how your money is being used and what Monteverde Friends School will look like as we plan to get started again in August.